In the previous section, we discussed in brief on reusable components. And instead of two separate components, we defined a single reusable pet component that fulfills us the need of both cat and dog components. Then we got the output displayed on the UI. But our button functionality was not working as expected. Previously, before refactoring, they used to display locks when we click on them. But right now, it is throwing us error. In fact, it will throw us error on clicking any button, not just one. Let's see what it says again. It says, cannot read property props of null at handle like button click. Okay, in this section, we are going to fix it so that we'll see the logs on console once again with the button clicks. Hmm, let's analyze what might have gone wrong. The error says, for some reason, our handle like button click callback got this as null when we are trying to access props object here using this dot props dot pet name. So we are essentially trying to access props property from null. That's what it says. Notice it didn't spit out any error when we try to access props inside our render method using this dot props dot pet name. It only had the issues inside our callback methods. All right, let's discuss on how to fix it. In JavaScript, execution context of this changes depending on the color of the code. So when we pass our callback to on click event, this inside our callback refers to the caller. So instead of this referring to its components instance, it is referring to the caller of the event handler, which is React library code that invokes our callback when we click on the button. And that's what causing an issue here. We didn't have this problem with old ES5 create class syntax because react.create class does auto bind and sets the right execution context of this for us. Since create class is a React library method, when we pass object to create class method, it goes through each of the methods inside the object and sets the correct execution context for them. It means that create class avoided JavaScript's annoying this keyword behavior by auto binding methods to the component instance this freely for us. But whereas React components built with ES6 classes do not do auto bind for us, since ES6 class is a standard class syntax and not React specific. Effectively, it means that we need to set the context of this to make it point to the same component instance ourselves. Okay, there are different ways how we can fix this. One way would be to use ES6 arrow functions or auto bind decorator, but we haven't discussed ES6 yet. We'll discuss arrow functions method once we complete ES6 section. But right now, we'll look at two ways to fix this. First way is we can directly bind this while we are assigning our event callbacks like how we did in shows app. Let me go ahead and do that first. I'm going to bind the methods directly over here like this. And also for the second one, dot bind this. When we assign a method as event handlers callback, we have to bind that method to class instance so that it runs in the scope of the class instance. In other words, binding the method to class makes this inside it to point to this particular instance of the class, but not somewhere from where the callback is getting executed. At. All right, let's save it and see if everything works fine. And then we are going to look at another method, which is way better than this. Okay, let's head over to the browser and click on like and dislike buttons. And now we can see everything works just fine. All right, let's discuss on the second method now. Before that, firstly, let's discuss on the drawback of this in place bind approach. Since bind changes the execution context, it's a costly operation, which means it takes CPU resource every time we do bind. So in the current code, we are binding our methods every time when we click on like and dislike buttons. And also whenever the render method gets triggered as it's going to create our button react elements again. So we are repeating the same operation again and again every time, which can be optimized. So instead of doing bind in the render method in place, we can do bind in the constructor method available inside our class, which gets called only once when component is instantiated or component instance is created. Okay, let me go ahead and do that first. I'm going to define the constructor method at the top. Constructor and it's going to take props as its argument. Inside its body, before binding the methods, I'm going to call super along with props as its argument, as discussed earlier in our ES6 class section. Let's bind our methods now. This dot handle like button click equal to this dot handle like button click dot bind this to our same components instance. And similarly, let's do the same for our other method also this dot handle dislike button click equal to this dot handle dislike button click dot bind this. And as we are already doing bind in the constructor, it's not required to bind here again. So let's remove this bind 
and here also okay if we bind methods here inside the constructor they get bind only once when the constructor method gets called and afterwards whenever the events get triggered they refer to the already bound methods so this dot handle like button click method here assigned to our on click event refers to the method bound to our components instance this the same is true for this dot handle dislike button click also but in the previous method or in place binding since our component can get re-rendered multiple times we are doing a redundant operation of binding the method every time which is a performance penalty so i recommend binding your callback methods inside the constructor method of class only oh there is a small correction here it should be this okay let's save it and check our output on the browser once and let's click on like and dislike buttons okay everything is working as expected all right that's how we fix the callback issue if you notice here right now our button clicks are not doing much here apart from console login instead what we want to do is we want to update our player score in the component accordingly whenever the buttons are clicked so let's add support for adding some state to our component to manage player score in the next section all right let's carry on